Hello fellow estate agents out there on LinkedIn. Um, I'm putting this message out to you as my contacts. Um, I have over 2000 contacts now on LinkedIn, which I've been really aiming to do for a very, very long time. And I finally achieved that target. And the majority of you I know are in property um, and many of you in property are estate agents. And I really wanted to put out my story and let you hear a little bit about what's happened to me, uh, especially over the last sort of four or five months since joining EXP. Um, I had no intention of joining EXP. Um, I was fairly happy where I was actually um, working before and had always been an estate agent, been an estate agent for really 40 years on and off, as they say, man and boy. Um, I started when I was 16 years old, working up in the West End for Robert Irving and Burns, and um, it sort of carried on from there with a few breaks in between. In all of my working life, I can honestly say I have never been so happy as I am right now being a self-employed estate agent. I really do feel like this is my time. I am my own boss. As I said, I had no intentions of becoming a self-employed estate agent because I really couldn't afford to go months without earning any money at all. However, with a fantastic wife behind me and some good supportive friends, I got through the startup period. And once you hit that first completion, you'll never ever look back. So I started this business back in October 2020. During October, I was literally just setting up, getting myself acclimatized with being on my own, speaking to EXP, getting them to help me, working with them as part of a team with advice, working with other EXP agents and finding out what they do, going to regular Friday morning meetings, virtual meetings um, with Adam Day and all the other EXP agents. And before long, I found whether it was luck or whether it was my own hard work, people were starting to get in contact with me and respond to my marketing, which was very minimal. It was literally me putting out bits and pieces on Facebook here and there, not being scared to do a video just like I'm doing right now. And, and they were giving me properties. And when you go to do a valuation, when it's your own business and your heart is so, so passionate about it, vendors feel that. They pick that up from you. It's not the same as when you're working for somebody and you're selling their product, you're selling their brand, their name. You're actually selling yourself and nobody can be more genuine at selling you than you. So getting an instruction was easy. Um, they were just giving me instructions, setting my own fees. Wow, I could finally actually justify going over and above and charging higher fees than, than the norm. Because again, it's that pride. It's like, well, I'm going to do this for you. And in the past four months of hard work, and that includes Christmas, and that includes me also being struck down with COVID and not being able to work for the best part of a month in December, I've actually managed to take on 16 instructions. I've got seven properties currently in my pipeline under offer. I had my first completion two weeks ago. And when you get that completion working on your own and the majority of that money comes to you, wow, what a feeling. You really can then gauge how quick it's going to be to plug that financial gap of your investment to date. And that investment is really your living costs, what it costs you to get through every month. Um, I had literally been investing monthly, no more than a few hundred pounds every month on my business. I haven't even got boards made. In fact, my boards are being made right now. So I've been doing all this with no boards, with just me going out there and talking to people, with me speaking and networking amongst friends, family, joining some networking groups, um, doing some canvassing here and there. But the, but the properties have been coming and the valuations have been coming. The opportunities have been coming. So if you believe my story, which you should, because it's the truth, and you want to hear more about my story in depth, give me a call. All right, I'll be happy to answer any questions. Really, EXP has changed my life and it will change yours as well. If you're an experienced estate agent 
and you're confident in yourself and you're confident that you could do a much better job without being told to do this and to do that. Because at the end of the day, it's not a hard job being an estate agent. You just got to keep in contact with people. You've just got to be proactive, work as a proper good estate agent. You're going to make good money. So if this sounds like something you could be interested in, please give me a call. Um, I'll be happy to chat with you further about it. And maybe the time is right for you also to consider EXP.